for Detroit, are we? <laughs> oh, what a uh, new experience What, what, a, what a turn up for the books. Dermot's taking his glasses off, so I'm gonna wear my glasses like this for the whole video. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Two Justines. J squared. <laughs> what is this, a crossover <laughs> episode? <laughs> You're just in time for some <laughs> horrific puns. So like a bag of crisps and a pint and a pint, yeah. Slice of pizza and a pint. Pint, we got pizza. Oh, this makes oh, perfect sense. There cool. Will, there will be no pint. Snacks are the black stuff, and we're wearing all the white stuff. <laughs> ah, stop it now! Guinness milk chocolate. This sounds like it will work well though, because Guinness is kind of like creamy. a chocolatey, creamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of undertone. Sorry. Where's my pint? It's kind of got like a dairy milk feel to it. Like give it, give them a rub. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. yeah we'll we'll wait for the pints, it's fine. I can't even eat this like this. Can you get us a pint glass, please? I was hoping they'd have like a little Guinness on the chocolate. Oh yeah, there's that nothing. Missed a trick there, guys. Drop it in. Blink. It is really flimsy tinfoil. It is terrible tinfoil. Look at how easily this packaging ripped. So I'm hoping the chocolate is above the standard of the wrapper. That's all I'm saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. you gotta let it settle. Come on, Dermot. It's like something an old man has in his pocket. Chocolate yeah. from years ago. <laughs> all right, what do we think? All right, it smells good. It does smell like Guinness. Yeah, and I really like the I really like the the curve in it, you know. It smells a bit like a pint. It smells like I shouldn't be doing this in the middle of the day. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like Guinness in the center that would just oh, yeah. shoot out or something. It's good. That's really good. Am I gonna get locked eating this chocolate? It does say visit drinkaware.ie. Yeah. It is interesting. I gotta say, I was right with my doesn't really taste like Guinness prediction, but there is like slight something there. There's an alcoholy taste on mm, it, isn't there? There yeah. is a bit of like, it's like a liqueur taste. Even if you don't like Guinness, you could love this. Point with, with chocolate. It's, yeah, you've taken a slug at a point and, and someone's giving you a piece of chocolate. Mm. I'd rather do that. Like, yeah. I'd rather have the pint and mm. the chocolate rather than all into one. And there is something creamy about it. The cream prophecy has come to pass, as was written by Arthur Guinness in 1759. Well done, Arthur. Yeah, <laughs> good, yeah good start, good start. Oh, these look tasty. <laughs> thick cut, yes, I love thick crisps. They're the best. Big crunchy mm. boys. This would be like, Taking a slug of a pint and having a pack of crisps. Oh, just like last time. Oh, I see. We've yeah. done it. You've used information from the past mm -hmm. to predict the future. Yeah. I like that. Let's try that. Did something really cool about black packaging. And I know this is strange coming from a man wearing a lot of white, but it looks really cool. It smells a. Uh... But they're black. I got a yeah. spice in my eye. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it smells like oh, Guinness. Oh, wow, it really does. In fact, I kind of look like a Guinness now. Thank you, Barman. Oh, Jizz, just one for the road now. Yeah. They are very black. Aren't they? It's like. Lighted crisps oh, or something. Let's not talk about that. No, <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> They're like those fancy dogs that have the little stripes on them. <laughs> Are you talking about zebras? Oh, here's the second step. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Barman, what kind of a Barman are you? Spilling, spilling crisps all over the place. Cheers. Let's do it. Mm. Crunchy. That's pretty fucking good. It's like ready salted. Yeah, that's not Guinness. I can't taste Guinness in these at all. I'm without a drink, a lot of Guinness, so maybe I'm just very uneducated. That's a good time. That's really fucking good. Yeah. Is it meant to be that you eat this with Guinness and it brings out the flavor of the Guinness? There's a bag of Guinness off it, but it it works really well for mm. for for a crisp. They can do exactly what they say in the tin, and they are quite nice. And again, I would like to dip it in the Guinness. I wouldn't be rushing out now to get those. No, but I don't hate them. The faintest barbecue kind of flavor, you could say, like in that direction, but that's not where it's going. Yeah. Wrong. It's just driving in that direction. It's driving. Right? It's it's past that. Yeah. You're getting you're getting that whiff in that you get from the side when you're going through a field, you know what I mean? I think a first taste of chocolate was more Guinnessy, uh, but I would definitely eat these and the chocolate and then maybe a Guinness just to like fully, you know, have the experience. Yeah, you friends in other country, you're like, what snacks? And I bring them, I'm like, great, I bring them these. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and they just... And they're not manky, so you'd no. be like, look, they're Ori, you're not yeah. gonna hate them. Like, yeah. They're no tato. Uh, Sean, we already had this one. I've done that one. Oh, oh my God, God, Oh, That's gonna be yes. delicious. And this is where your dream comes true, because this is gonna be gooey in the middle. Right, good man. Oh, I'm excited. They made this just for me. Sorry, we filled our pint glass too big. Yeah, sorry. We'll, we'll be with you in a minute. Flavoured with Guinness beer and set in a creamy milk chocolate bar. So that suggests to me there's actual Guinness in this. Something so satisfying about like cracking chocolate while it's still in the foil. Spoken like a true oh. serial killer. Two percent. Ah, beer, two percent. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Oh, God. <laughs> This was not appetizing. Look at that ooze. Look at that. I'm a bit skeptical already. I'm resistant to the idea. 
Mm. But do you know what? We've been proven wrong before, so let's try it. Oh, yeah. It's so like Guinness. Yeah. Come on, man. Fucking don't make a fool of me on the internet, man. Don't do this to me. You got that covered yourself. Unreal. Oh, baby. Well, you oh, can taste more alcohol off it. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it's not Guinness. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I love this. Oh, that's so good. So much. I actually think I would have six bars of this to get that. <laughs> Absolutely. That's fucking delish, man. I feel like the, like the other ones, if you gave them to me, and I was like a blind taste test, and I didn't know what they were infused with, I would, I would have like guessed, but I wouldn't have known. This you would know 100%, and it's super nice. Well, it leaves an alcohol -y sting in the back mm. of your neck, doesn't it? That oh, like... Beautiful. Mm. Can we just cut back to that moment a minute ago where Dermot said, that is fucking delish, because that is genuinely the high point. He has never sounded happier on this channel. I've never heard you sound that happy in life before. Play it again. That's fucking delish, man. You fucking did it. You reached your happiest zen point. Because I think what this one gets right is the caramel kind of feels like that smoothness of the Guinness. So this is like texturally Guinness. That is like a milkshake or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's so sexy. Keep it in. Keep yeah. it in. Absolutely. Continue. It's not a hop, but are you satisfied? I'm very satisfied. We asked, and <laughs> here it is. They're in the shape of little Guinnesses. Dark and white chocolate with a creamy Guinness beer flavored center. So do you reckon it's gonna have that kind of like caramelly thing going on again, basically? Oh, I think it will. These are so gorgeous. They're so cute. I don't wanna eat them. They're no, so me neither. I'll be honest, even if this is good, I'm kind of annoyed that you've teased us with the image of a <laughs> pint of Guinness. Sorry. Thanks, George. Thanks I'm for stepping so, all over so that. Sorry. Mother. I'm really sorry. I, I've tried okay. so hard not to have it happen wow. and it happened. Give that to the kids, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you can play chess with these, you know Literally what I mean? Like, what I was just thinking. Rook to F7. This looks amazing to me. I'm very, very excited to have this. Yeah, and now it makes us look like we've massive hands. Giant hands! <laughs> we are giant people drinking it. <laughs> Sorry, ready? Slaughter. Slaughter. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh my god. It. Oh look, my god. Rook yeah. was in the middle. Oh! Mm. I wasn't expecting that. That is really strong tasting again. Guinness. That was the like, most Guinness flavour ever, that cream in the middle. Mm. Are we sure there's not stout in the middle of it? But really tastes like I could Guinness like a pint, doesn't it? In the middle. Five percent. <laughs> oh baby. Get locked on chocolate. I can't believe it's not Guinness. It's so good. Mate, it is Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. If this was like this size, you'd be dead. It would be great. What are you talking about? And you'd literally be locked on that one pint end of that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, they're so good. It definitely has the strongest Guinness taste. Like, <laughs> you just said that every time. No, 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 but like, it's, they just, they keep getting stronger. Oh, you just can't get over here amazing there. Mm. I've been converted. I think I might have to get a pint of Guinness on the way home. You have to know. Yeah. Jesus, are you seriously? There's no pints? There's oh. gotta be a pint. There has Someone to be asking, a pint. obviously, there's a pint. There has to be a pint this. coming. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, truffle. Okay. A creamy white ganache. Now that ganache. is. Ganache. That's a bit oh, oh. the dark chocolate shell. So, but we already know from the last one that it can be quite nice. That could be balanced. This could be amazing. Now I'm frothing, frothing now with that. Frothing at the ganache. <laughs> <laughs> I, I assume, like in terms of texture, it's going to be really interesting. I like that it's got the dark chocolate shell. The fact that it's a creamy white ganache. Oh, this might be lovely, man. So this it's could be all head though. And what's wrong with that? I don't find if it's a placebo now or what, but I'm feeling a bit like. Oh, well, that's very dark chocolate. Very dark chocolate. Very dark chocolate. Yeah. Sláinte. Cheers. I'm it, not as excited as I hoped I'd be. It's definitely darker. You know what? It's the worst one. No, I don't really like that dark chocolate. Let me rephrase. It's the least good one. Mmm. Mm. It's still good. It's still pretty good. But I think I know what you were doing, okay? Because the last little glug of a pint of Guinness is not particularly nice. So you were leaving the last one to represent what it's like finishing a pint of Guinness. It's so bitter. I just don't get it. If I want chocolate, I'm thinking sweet. If it had white chocolate on top or half it was white chocolate, yeah. it would balance it out. Yeah. Switch that around. Way too much dark chocolate. Right, we've got that out of the way. Pint. Can we have a pint now? When does the pint come out? I mean, this just doesn't really taste like Guinness to me because we've had these other ones that were so strongly flavoured. It won't be my first choice or second. No. Or third. <laughs> point, 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 point. I liked it, but it wasn't what I signed up for. Yeah, this was like a six out of ten, and everything else was like eight and nine. If you'd brought this out first, I'd be like, oh, this is quite nice. But yeah. after everything we've had today, after the exceptional shit we've had, holy crap. Overall, I like Guinness more now than when I started because I think like having it mashed with all these different flavors and having like a chance to just try little bits and pieces of it was really nice. I think I might be converted. Yes, and that yeah. is a success today. Yeah, everybody. absolutely. I'll be honest, Sean. When you said we weren't getting a pint, I was this close to knocking your head off and shitting down your. Neck. I had to hold him back. 
but like uh, worth it. Hey, thanks for watching and subscribing. Uh, please make sure to follow us on all the social medias because who knows if just like Guinness will one day eventually start releasing a whole bunch of products to do with Dermot, like uh, the, the Dermot old man alarm wake up call. Hey, hop over there.